Good day, let's do some Algebra 1 properties of exponents. Here's a couple of problems we'll be working on today. Uh, let's just get started with this first one here up top. Okay, so we have this 2m squared times 2m squared. What you could do is you could kind of break this apart. Okay, 2 times m times m times 2 times m times m. Okay, you see here's your m squared. Okay, I'm just simply breaking it apart. And now what you want to do is you kind of want to gather everything together. Okay, so we're going to kind of go like this. 2 times 2. 2 times 2 gives us 4. Okay, then we have then we have m times m times m times m. Okay, that's going to be m to the fourth power. Okay, so here's kind of what we get for our answer, 4m to the fourth power. Now, I want you to notice this, that instead of kind of having to break it apart, okay, you don't always have to do this. This is just kind of what I'm doing to help you out, okay? You don't have to do this. What you could do is you could do this. You could do 2 times 2 times, right, m squared times m squared. Okay, when you see this, when you see m something, something m squared times m squared, okay, 2 times 2, that gives us 4. When you see this m squared times m squared, what you're going to do is you're going to do this m to the 2 plus 2. Okay, when you have these exponents, when you have something a similar base, okay, the base here is m, base m, being raised to the second power, when it's being multiplied together, okay, similar base, when it's being multiplied together, you're going to add the exponents. Okay, so here we get this answer, 4m to the fourth power. Okay, I'll show you this again kind of uh, maybe with a different example that it's kind of based on this rule that if I have x to the a times x to the b, what that equals is x to the a plus b. Okay, these are similar base. This is a base x, okay, similar base, that when you have these exponents, you're going to add them together. Okay, maybe with numbers, maybe if I have numbers, I could show you this. So if I have 10 squared times 10 squared, okay, let's think about this. 10 squared, that's 10 times 10. Okay, times 10 squared, that's another 10 times 10. Okay, what do we have here? 1 followed by 4 zeros. Okay, 10,000. That's what we get. 10 squared times 10 squared gives us 10,000. Okay, from this point from this point to this point. Now look, if I do this rule that I was just showing you, 10 squared, 2 plus 2. Okay, remember, we're just taking these exponents because we have a similar base, base 10. Okay, here's our base. And we are multiplying, uh, multiplying these two things together. Here's a multiplication. You're going to add these exponents together. So what we get is 10 to the 4th power. Okay, 10 to the 4th power is a 1 followed by 4 zeros. So you can see this, this equals out here. Okay, once again, just uh, what I would write down, kind of the key to the, all this is this rule here, that if I have x to the a times x to the b, that that's going to equal x to the a plus b. Okay, the rule is this has to be multiplied, similar base, Similar bases are being multiplied together that you're gonna add those you're gonna add those exponents. Okay, that's kind of the rule that we'll be using. Alright, next problem here. M to the fourth divided by two m to the fourth. Okay, here's kind of another rule that you need to know. Okay, this is what I would write down. If you have x to the a divided by x to the b, okay, notice here we have similar base, base x that this is going to equal x to the a minus b. Okay, it's the exact opposite. Remember earlier we had x to the a times x to the b. Say that equals x to the a plus b. Okay, here, it's, here we're doing multiplication. Okay, when you're doing multiplication, you're going to add the exponents. Okay, but up here we're doing division. Okay, when you're doing division, if you have the same base, when you're doing division, you're going to subtract the exponents. Okay, so here's the two rules that I would write down. This rule here and this rule here. Okay, these are kind of your key, your key to solving these problems. Okay, so when you're doing division, you're going to be subtracting the exponents. So what do we have here? Okay, we have m to the fourth divided by 2m to the fourth. 
Now notice also that you could kind of do this, that this equals one half times m to the fourth over m to the fourth. Okay, see this two here? I could kind of break it off and represent that as one half, right? Knowing your fractions, if I have one half times one third, that equals one over two times three equals one sixth, right? So all I'm doing is uh, just kind of taking it from this point and turning it into something like this. See, this two is basically you're multiplying m to the four over m to the four times one half. So just kind of, you could kind of take this two and kind of move it out. Okay, so we have this one half times m to the fourth times m to the fourth. Okay, that equals one half times m to the four minus four. That equals one half times m to the zero. It equals one half times one, which just equals one half. Okay, so we get our answer here is just one half. Also notice that, you know, you have this m to the four divided by m to the four, that anything divided by itself equals one. Okay, so you could kind of skip this whole process, um, but, you know, I'm kind of writing it out to help you out to kind of visualize how this algebra works. But you could also notice that you have this m to the fourth divided by m to the fourth. Anything divided by itself equals one. Okay, so, you know, you could kind of just say at this point that you have one half times one. Okay, so we, here we get our answer one half. All right, 3m raised to the negative two power. Whenever you see this negative exponent, okay, if you see negative exponent, if you see x to the negative three, what that means is one over x cubed. You see this negative exponent, what it does is it brings things down underneath this, this division bar. Okay, so if I have x to the negative one, that just equals one over x to the first power, which just equals one over x. Okay, if I have, if I have uh, x to the negative two, that equals one over x squared. A negative exponent is going to bring bring your your whatever whatever's being whatever it's being applied to. It's going to bring it underneath this division bar. That's what negative exponents do. Now, if I have a negative exponent in the in the denominator, let's say I have one over x to the negative three. Okay, if I have this negative exponent underneath, now what it's going to do is going to bring it up top. So now I have that equals x cubed. Okay, so what these negative exponents do is they flip-flop things around this, this division bar. Okay, if you have a negative exponent here, it goes up top. If you have a negative exponent up here, it goes down bottom. Okay, that's what these do. They flip-flop them around this division bar. So now you see that we have this problem here, 3m to the negative 2. So what that equals is 1 over... 3m squared. Okay, you're just taking this negative exponent, flip-flopping it down across the division bar, and now it's positive. So you have 1 over 3m squared. Okay, now if I have this 1 over 3m squared, what this equals is, this equals 1 over 9m squared. Okay, 1 over 3m squared equals... 1 over 9m squared. And the reason why is if I have, okay, if I have uh, xy squared, what that equals is x squared times y squared. Okay, the rule is that these things have to be multiplied together. So if I have x times y, and it's being raised to some power, this power uh, is applied to both of these, both of these variables here. Okay, so that's what that's what we did here. We did basically from 1 over 3m squared that that equals 1 over 3 squared times m squared. Okay, which equals 1 over 9m squared. Okay, see these things are being multiplied together here. It's 1 times 3m, 1 over 3m squared. 3 times m. 
Okay, and these are being multiplied together, so this the squared is applied to both of these, both of these, both this number and this variable. So this is what we get. We get one over nine m squared. All right, two x to the fourth times y to the negative three. All that being raised to this negative first power. Okay, remember these things are being multiplied together. Everything here is being multiplied together. Okay, you don't always have to show this multiplication symbols. If there's, you know, if there's nothing there, you're just going to assume that everything's being multiplied together. Now notice that this whole, this whole thing here is being raised to the negative first power. Okay, remember what I told you about negative powers, that that kind of flip-flops things across the division bar. So what this equals is 1 over 2x to the 4th, y to the negative 3. Okay, I'm simply taking this negative exponent, okay, to the first power, right? Anything to the first power remains itself, so you, you don't have to write that in there. So you kind of have it like this, 1 over 2x to the 4th times y to the negative 3. Now you have this y to the negative 3, okay? Remember, if it has a negative exponent, then it's going to flip-flop it across this division bar. So this y to the negative 3 is now going to move up. So what we have here is we have y cubed over 2x to the 4th. Uh, that's our answer, y cubed over 2x to the 4th power. Just remember that if you have negative exponents, negative exponent is going to flip-flop things across the division bar. Okay, here we have this negative exponent, so this, this, this uh, variable y is going to flip up to the top here. Okay, and that negative turns into a positive. All right, x to the negative 1 times 4, or excuse me, x to the negative first power divided by 4x to the fourth power. Okay, once again here we have this negative exponent, so this x is going to flip-flop down. So what we have here is 1 over 4x to the fourth times x to the first power. Okay, this x to the negative 1 flips down, turns into a positive x to the first power. Okay, so now we have this. We have 4x to the fourth times x to the first power. Okay, so 1 over 4x to the 4 plus 1. Remember that when you have x to the a times x to the, oops, excuse me, <laughs> times x to the b, that that equals x to the a plus b. Okay, here these are being multiplied, x to the fourth times x to the first. So you're going to add those, those exponents, okay, you're going to add these exponents here. So what we get, we get for our answer, we get 1 over 4x to the fifth power. Okay, here's a good one. Looks a little complicated. Um, okay, one thing I want you to note is that if I just have, you know, x to the negative 2, that, that equals 1 over x squared. Okay, if I have x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 3, if I have x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 3, that that equals 1 over x squared y cubed. Okay, remember, these negative exponents bring things down, or if it's a negative exponent uh, down here, it's going to bring it up. Okay, negative exponents flip-flop things across the division bar. So keep that in mind as we're working through this problem. I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay, so where to start on this? We have this, this all this divided by all this, right? So what I would do is I would take these whole numbers and kind of put them apart. So we're going to say this is going to equal... Uh, let's just go 2, 2 thirds times x to the fourth. Okay, now notice that these are being divided again, once again. So we're going to subtract minus x squared. Because remember, if I have x to the a over x to the b, that this equals x to the a minus b. Okay, these you have a similar base. These exponents are going to be subtracted from each other. Okay, so what you have here is you have this x to the 4th and this x squared, so it's going to be x to the 4 minus 2. Okay, simply using our rule, we're subtracting here. Okay, times y to the negative 4th minus a minus 3. K, 
Okay, negative four minus a minus three. Okay, times z to the negative three minus four. Okay, this is what we get here. Everything is being multiplied together. So now we have this, we have, uh, let's see, two thirds times x, four minus two gives us two times y, negative four minus a minus three, that's the same as saying negative four plus three. Okay, negative four plus three gives us negative one. Okay, times z, negative three minus four times z to the negative seventh power. So this is what we kind of get, okay? We're at this point here. If you don't have this all written out, go ahead and write it out. I'm gonna go ahead and erase it now. And I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Okay, so this is what we have here. This two thirds times x squared times y to the negative one times z to the negative seventh. Okay, let's start putting things up top where they go and things down below where they go. So everything is gonna be, looks like everything is gonna be up top is gonna be this two and this x squared. So we have two x squared. Okay, those are, that's what's going up top. What's going down below is gonna be this three. Okay, the three. And then you have this y to the negative first power. Okay, that's gonna bring the y underneath here and make that exponent positive. And also similarly with z, z to the positive seventh power. So that's what we get for our answer, two x squared over three y, z to the seventh power. All right, four x to the zero times y to the negative two times z cubed, all that divided by four over x. Okay, so what we could kind of do here is you could see that we have this four on top and bottom, four divided by four. What we're gonna do is kind of cancel those out. Okay, right, anything divided by itself equals one, so you could kind of cancel those out. Okay, see here we have this x to the zero. Remember I was telling you anything raised to the zero power equals one. Okay, so that kind of just turns into a one, one. And this y to the negative two power, negative two power, y to the negative two, remember that's gonna flip flop it across this division bar. So we could bring that y squared down bottom. That negative two is gonna turn into a positive two, okay, underneath the division bar. Then we have this z cubed, that's gonna stay up top. And it looks like this x is just left, left alone by itself. So what we have here, we get our answer z cubed over y squared times x. All right, I just wanna thank you for making it to the end of this short Algebra 1 video on the properties of exponents. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.